this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a wallpaper for your phone using Adobe Illustrator. Welcome back to the channel. My name is CJAM and today, as I mentioned, we're going to be designing our very own unique phone wallpaper in Illustrator, right? And I'm going to be using some assets, mainly just a texture, you know, a background for my design, as well as some fonts that I got from Envato Elements. And this video is sponsored by Envato Elements, but we'll talk a little bit more about them later on in the video. So with all that out of the way, let's just go ahead and jump into Adobe Illustrator and start creating. So here we are in Illustrator. And the first thing you need to know is the size of your phone's display. You can just do a quick Google search, like, um, what's the iPhone 13 screen resolution? You know, I did that for my phone. So let's just go ahead and go to file. Sorry, let's go to new file and then let's input our resolutions. You know, mine is 1080p wide by 2400 pixels high. Everything else I'll keep the same and then just let's just go ahead and click create. But before we do that, obviously, if your resolution is different, you just go ahead and enter your values here, right? And then now we can click create. All right. And the first thing I'm going to do is here's my blank canvas, obviously. And I'm just going to bring in my texture that I mentioned that I got from Envato Elements. And it's just a, um, a palette knife, you know, paint stroke, a palette knife brush stroke. And the idea that I had is a black background with like a red kind of paint stroke with the um the word jesus in like different fonts right so i have one font in the middle and then some different fonts above and below with the um learn cheer logo so let's just go ahead and drag in that palette knife texture i already have it in my folder here and then i'm just going to open my palette knife texture and then here we are and i think i want to use like this one right here right i'm just going to go ahead and click on it and then copy it Control and c and then I'm going to go into my project that I have up here. And then I'm just going to hit Control and V to paste it. And there it is. And before I do anything else, what I'm going to do is just go ahead and save this, right? Then I'm going to go into this folder here and just name it LSPV078 Phone Screen Wallpaper, right? And then we're just going to go ahead and save this. Let's click OK. Here we are. Now what I want to do is I want to just expand this paint stroke. I'm just clicking on a corner and holding shift. So I maximize the size evenly. Just going to go up top to my align options and align it to the center. Maybe a little bit more. Let's just size it back down a little bit more. And then I'm just going to go ahead and change it to red. Just like that. And then I'm just going to change the background to black, right? I'm just going to make a black shape. I'm just going to hit L, sorry, M on my keyboard for my rectangle tool. I'm just going to draw out a rectangle. Um, and I'm just, going to, I'm just going to change the color to black. Let me just expand my layers over here. And then let me just hit Control and the left square bracket to just move it behind my red brush stroke in my layers, right? You can also see it over here. I have my rectangle here and my stroke and I can also go ahead and just lock the rectangle that way it doesn't move right so I can't move it anymore see that I can't move it but I can still move the brush stroke right now I'm just gonna go ahead and type my text as I mentioned I'm just gonna hit T for my type tool I'm just gonna go ahead and type Jesus select all of the text because it's way too small and then I'm gonna make it much bigger let's go 100 right align it center and then let's align it to the center of my document and then let's change the color to white right and the font that i want to use today that i got from Envato elements is bennett that's the first font i'm going to be using let me just search for bennett right let me do bold and see what we have let's make it a little bit bigger right and then the next font i want to use let me just duplicate this and then I can just change the fonts as I see fit, right? I'm just holding Alt and then clicking on the font and then dragging it and that will automatically duplicate it for me, right? The next one I want to use is Tugboat. Let me just go ahead and type Tugboat, right? And then let me change one more to Komodo. 
and these are all the funds that I downloaded from Envato Elements, right? So I know what I'm working with already. Change the other one to Veronica. And don't worry, I'll put a link in the description to each of these fonts as to where you can get them to download them and design with me, or you can use them in your own designs. The next one is Novita. All right. And these are all the five fonts that I want to use, right? What did you guys think? Let me see what I got here. Let's just drag this down a bit. Um, where is my character options? All right, cool. So this is what I'm working with. And all I'm going to do next is I'm just going to align them in such a way that the they all fill the screen. Like they're all the same width as best as I can, right? Let me put um, this one in the middle. The Novita, I like how it looks. All right. Oops. This should go down. Novita should come down as well. I like how this one looks. Now I don't know which one to use as the default. As in, I don't know which one to put in the middle. And the red is just representing like, you know, blood of Jesus kind of thing. So that's why I chose that strong red, right? Actually, I think I like this one here. I really like Tugboat and I also really like Veronica, right? Maybe I should use just these three. What do you guys think? Let me just take these off for now and then see what I got. Let me just expand the tracking on this one here to make it as wide as the, or do I want to do that? Uh, let's leave it as is and let's size this one down. Let's get these to be the same width. That way I can then um, adjust them accordingly. That looks about the same, right? <laughs> And then let me move with this one up top to about there. Can this go any heavier in terms of weight? No, tugboat is as is. That's as is as well. Novita. No, that's as is. But I like these so far. Now I can align them all to the center. Let me just go ahead and lock the layer with the uh, palette knife stroke. This red layer, let me just lock that. That way I don't move it. Right, then I can just, um, because I want to align these perf for perfectly, right? What I want to do, I'm just gonna go ahead and select them all, hold Alt, drag them off. That way I have the original fonts, right? And what I'm going to do next is, I'm going to just go ahead and convert these to outlines. That way I'm getting like actual proper, like bounding boxes, right? Just right click, select all of them, or you can do it individually and then just create outlines, right? And you can see the bounding box is like exactly around the elements. Before that, if I were to hit Ctrl and Z, when they were still type layers, you can see that the bounding box is kind of really wide, right? And that's not what I want. So let me just go ahead and redo that. Ctrl, Shift and Z. And now they're back to being um, outlines. Let me align this now to the center. See that? It's aligned to the center properly. Align this one. Then let me just bring it down to touch this layer a little bit. Same here. Align them again. And then let me just duplicate and bring down. See how it looks. Duplicate and bring down. Do I want to do that or do I want to have just these three on top? Let me just undo that. And let me just test it. Yeah, let me just test this. I'm just holding out, clicking and dragging, right? Let me just align them and distribute it evenly. That looks good. Yeah, I think that looks good, but maybe I want to just bring this off some more. Right. This is looking good so far. What do you guys think? This is exactly what I wanted. What do you guys think? Um. Let me make this smaller, right? Let's make this smaller. Then let me bring that in the middle. Hold on, let me select artboard. That way when I hit the align, it's aligned to the artboard, right? Um, 
let me just move this up some more. I want to, I want to align it with right here, right? And I want to align this top one with the right at the edge, 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 right? Now I can just bring this down to about right there where the guide is. Okay. Align, align, and then I'm just going to like let this touch almost at least almost right and then let's do the same here let it touch as close as you possibly possibly can and then let's align all of that and now i can just space them out as i see fit right let me size down the paint let me size down the paint splatter a little bit right then let me move the Jesus's or the Jesus fonts, <laughs> the outer ones. Let me just move them down one, two, or one. I'm just holding shift and using my arrow keys to one nudge. I'm just nudging it like about 10 pixels. And then I'm really liking this. I just really wanted to keep it simple, you know, simple message, you know, nothing too complicated. Just Jesus is all that we need, right? Then let me just nudge this up one, two, or let's keep it just 10 pixels with one nudge. That way it's the same distance as in between the duplicate Jesus's, right? What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Maybe I can make this bigger because I don't want it to full up the phone screen, right? I just want it to fit like, um, I just want it to fit like perfectly in the middle, but I think I probably need to make this bigger. So let me just size it up i am holding alt and shift and i just dragged one of the edges right i just clicked and drag one of the edges while holding alt and shift and that will increase the height and width at the same time right control and s to save let me hide my guides by pressing control and semicolon and i think this is all that i want to do i don't want to do anything else to this right I don't want to do anything else. The only thing I'll do is probably just experiment with these other fonts, but I really, really like this one, right? I really like this one. What do you guys think? So I really like this. I definitely really, really like. Let me try and change this rectangle to like actually black, like true, true black, right? Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, this is giving me much more of a kick when it's actually black, right? I really, really like this. Now, let's go ahead and hit Control and S to save. Now I can save it as a copy, you know, as a PNG to actually use on my phone, right? Let's go ahead and save or export as, let's export the artboard, arranged artboard one, and it's just going to extract it for me. All I have to do is click export and it will ask me for what I want to do. For the options, I normally just click high, high resolution, and uh, type optimize hinted, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and click OK, right? That's all I have to do. Now let me go ahead and view the file that we created. And I already have it on my phone, and here it is. Look how cool that is. I love the red, love, love, love the red. What do you guys think? And you can create your very own wallpaper too. All you need is a good idea and then you just jump into Adobe Illustrator or Adobe Photoshop and bring your idea to life. Now, remember earlier when I said that this video is sponsored by Envato Elements, Envato Elements is a cool stock asset website for graphic templates, fonts like what we use today, textures like the palette knife brush stroke that we use today as well as a host of other stuff and the fonts that i used here today in this tutorial are tugboat novita script and veronica and they have a lot more thousands more fonts that you can choose from to bring your ideas to life and it gets even cooler invita elements wants to offer you guys 70 percent off a month's subscription from their website so hit the link in my description for one the funds that i use today two the texture that i use today and three if you want to sign up for Envato elements and get unlimited downloads on fonts graphic templates social media templates and a lot more they have a very cool subscription that you can download 
unlimited. There is no limit to how much you can download as well as where you can download Adobe Illustrator to design with me. So what do you think about this quick and easy phone screen wallpaper that we made today? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching and a special thank you to Envato Elements for sponsoring this video. Once again, my name is CJAM and I will see you guys in the next video.